What's up everybody? Today this video is a fully updated solo easter egg guide on how to complete the outbreak easter egg. If you guys do enjoy, make sure that subscribe button and like, we're on the road to 1k subs. And also share it to your friends so your friends can be wowed when they complete it themselves. But let's get into this. So most YouTubers tell you not to use wonder weapons. But I found that the ray gun and the ray k really does help defeating the mimics and the manglers. And also levels up your build upgrade much quicker. So the loadout you need is either a ray gun or a ray k and an M16. Fully leveled so you can get most of the attachments. On screen right now is the attachments you need. Most of them are hip fire. Also make sure your gun is fully packer punched and is golden variant field upgrade you need as well is ether shroud so you can go to the boss without getting hit by zombies do incredible damage so the ammo mods you'd need would be brain rot and dead wire tier 5 as you got the loadout sorted let's move on to step one so you need to find a radio station on round this is the Pacific radio. This one doesn't pop up on the map. As you can see, this is the music one. To connect all the radios, make sure you have subtitles on. And from the main radio number, connect with the smaller radios. So here are all the radio locations. First signal radio is here. Second is here. And third and final is here. Duga, the main radio station is here. First radio is here. The second one is here. And the third is here. Main station in Glover is here. The signal radio is here. The second one is here. And the third one is here. In, Ru in Ruka, the main station is in the tent. The first signal radio is in the hut. The second one is in the cottage. And the third one is in the house upstairs. Sanatorium. Of course you can't see because I'm not in round four. But the main radio station would be here. First signal radio would be here. The second one would be at the front here. And the third and final once done correctly, a metal ball will come out with crystals and Maxis will start talking to you. At this point, you might think, where do I need to put the ball? Well, if you complete the main task in your map, then go to the anomaly. The beacon will be there and you can call Maxis and she will start talking to you. There you are. There's something you must do. Once you called Maxis, go to the next round. This should be round four. Once you've spawned in, Maxis should talk to you, telling you to find Ravnov. When this happens, step two begins and you have to find a monkey with an M beside it. There are four in each map. Once you find the monkey with the M, it should drop a film reel. Here are all the locations of the monkeys in each map. First one, bar room on the beam. Second one, under the main bridge. Third one, in the office building. Fourth one. Hot on the hill. Find a gas pump. On the balcony. Upstairs. Third one. Upstairs. Fourth one in the living room. First one on top of the building. Second one, behind the brick wall. Third one, top of the bus shutter. Fourth one, on a container under the shutter. In the building. Second one, upstairs in the main building. Third one, in the barn, on the beam. Fourth one, upstairs. Inside the car. Second one in the building. Third one under the bridge. Fourth one behind wood. So once you found the film reel, 
you have to put that film in a projector. You can still do this in the same game as you found the monkey. Here are the locations for the projectors. Alpines. If from Pack-a-Punch you go up the right stairs, the right corridor, and the right door. And the projector would be here. Go up the ladder, go through the right window, and the projector is on the right. You go through the entrance, past the shield, and it's right there. Go through the entrance, go through the door beside the stairs. Once you found the projector and you flick through the slides, you can go to the next map and you will be automatically sent into Ruka. Once that's done, you can go to the bunker. Make sure you're fully prepared before going down the bunker because there is no returning back. But there is Pack-a-Punch Shield and Wonderfits down there. So once you're down in the bunker, go to your left. Go down the corridor and you go to the big missile. Once you're in there, go up the stairs and go through the red square door. Once you're in there, go to your left. And there'll be a corridor there. When you go through that door, there's another missile. And you fall down and then you set the lockdown up. And that is where you can get the keys. So on screen right now is the loadout of the areas you need to go to. So the lockdown room is the electric room where you can get the monkey so let's show you how to get the monkey's key so first off go to the a area once you're there drop down then look around the area for a red corridor once you're there go into that and that's where you find the trap try and find the ghost monkey in one of the in one of the vents but don't get too close Otherwise, you'll scare him and he'll cry and you don't want that or don't shoot him. When you do that, throw the trap down, run away. And when it says double tap and you'll trap the monkey, when you return, key will be there. So once you've got the first key, go back upstairs and go back through the red door where you switch to each missile room. So here is where it's fun because there's objects around where you get close to it a mimic will spawn and there's about 30 mimics spawn at this point once you kill them all go to the red missile but of course it's closed and there is a dead guy laying there hold x on him or hold f and a boss mimic will spawn kill that mimic and that will drop the second key once you've got the second key you can get the third key this one is the harder one out of the three because you have to collect the crystals and you have to hold them in the canister. There's 20 crystals you need. Once you've collected all the 20 crystals, once you're there, go, go back to the D missile. And when you do find the jellyfish, there is a green grass on the stairs. When you stand on the grass, EMP, and then the jellyfish will suck you in. When you're going down in the jellyfish, pick up the key from the scientist. So once you've found three of the keys, you have to launch the missiles. And by doing that, you have to slot them in in the control center and here is the order you have to do it in it's d b a or sometimes it can be b d a if you guys are kind of confused here's the guide up on the screen right now and you have 45 seconds to put the keys in if you fail you can do it again once you've done that then it's boss fight time go back to the fire room missile and get some shield so now you've got your armor, go back to where those mimics were and go up the main stairs. Up the main stairs is a door. When you're ready, the door will open and that's where the boss fight starts. Now he's spawned in, shoot his chest, but be the right distance that your gun does more damage. So the more you keep spraying, the more damage you will lose. But at this time, zombies and manglers will spawn. When that happens, run around and keep hip firing his chest. Ether Shroud to him. To be the right distance that does over 4,000 damage and hit the balls when that happens get your wonder weapon out and shoot the zombies and the manglers to gain your ether shroud back repeat that two more times and there you go you have finally completed the boss fight of outbreak ggs on that one if you guys do like what you see make sure that like button and subscribe and also share it to your friends anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i shall see you later Bye bye